Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at the Net Install service. And one of the things I wanted to do is show you how to create your own Net Restore image uh, or Net Install image that has uh, some customizations built in. Now, there are some ways to do that, as I showed you last time, through the uh, using the actual automator built into the imaging utility. Uh, but there are some other applications out there as well that can help us put packages and such together to make this work. And so uh, I got some insight into this from a Macworld article and also from a uh, video tutorial that I saw from the 89 Lunder, who's another YouTuber. And I thought I would share that with you, uh, the combination of the two, to kind of show you how this works. So what I'm going to do is let me just put the uh, server application down here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up an application first called Packages. Now, what Packages is, and let me just show you what that looks like on the website. It's by uh, Whitebox uh, Software. And what Packages does is it lets you uh, create packages that will then be installed on your different images. And so it's got a, a lot of different uh, options to it that lets you install uh, folders, different payloads, that sort of thing. And it does it with a visual uh, interface that lets it, uh, lets it work for you a little bit easier. Like I said, there's a lot of details in here, but I just want to show you the potential for this particular application, and then we'll show you how to build your image. So let me just go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this down, and here we are in a new project uh, screen here. Now I've got two things I can do. I can do distribution or a raw package. Uh, distribution just simply means that it's a bunch of packages in one. So it's kind of like a folder for packages and simplifies things. And then I've got a raw package that lets me install things. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the raw package and say next. Now what it's going to do is ask me for a project name. And so this is what you want to name the project that you're working on. So in my case, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to call this uh, install desktop. Uh, pictures because I'm just going to put a folder uh, in my uh, in my computer there for for desktop pictures and I can choose the directory right now it's at root if I wanted to I can choose where I want to have that uh, set up I could just put it inside server files here and I'll just have that install there install in there so I'm going to say finish and now I get this uh, interface here that allows me to create my package. Now, a couple of things here. You can see here I've got my project name, uh, the build name, and I can call it whatever I want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as install desktop pictures, but that's going to be what your package name will be. Uh, there's some exclusions down here. If there's some things that you want to exclude from having that install, you can do that right inside of here. You can also change the, uh, you know, where the reference folder is and such. Um, again, there's a lot of extra things in here, but let me just show you. You have your settings here, and this is where I can give it a package name. And so I'm just going to call this server uh, on here. So it's going to be a server package, install desktop uh, pictures. And I can uh, say on success, right, once the installation has happened, I can either require a restart, shutdown, or log out. In my case, I'm just going to, I just want to add a folder to my install, so I'm not going to add anything fancy here. And I can do some things with the uh, overriding directory perm permissions and that sort of thing, but I, I don't need to do that. Now here I come into the payload uh, area, and this is where the work happens for me to add things that I want to add. You'll notice I get this default uh, tree here of the library and basic users folder uh, with some of the uh, information that's inside of here. And you can see just a whole bunch of different things here inside. Uh, what I can do with these packages is I can do all kinds of things. I can add applications in there if I want to or things into the application folder. I can add things inside application support, uh, all of that. This just gives me my directory tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit a plus here, and it gives me this drop down. And what I'm going to do is choose uh, the folder that I want to install, the one that I want to have working for me. You notice here, here's the folder that has my project in it. Uh, but what I want to do is go find the one that I'm after. So in my pictures folder, I just created a desktop pictures. And this just has a few pictures that I took that I just want to have available, let's say, on my net restore uh, or net install uh, image there. So I'm going to say add. And so it's going to add this. Again, I can change the ownership or choose the path. I'm just going to go ahead and say add. And it stuck it there in my applications folder. Now I can move it wherever I want, okay, in, in terms of location. And there is, um, you know, there is a desktop uh, pictures folder where I could uh, totally override the desktop pictures folder. In my case, I want to leave those images there. I don't want to override it, so I could stick it inside of 
um, you know, the applications folder. And you can see I've got all this stuff here. Or if I wanted to, I could also put it inside, uh, you know, the shared users folder or inside the users folder itself. And I think in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm instead of the uh, applications, I'm going to add it uh, inside. Oops, it added it in my library. That's not where I want to go. Let's come back up here. Let's go ahead and close this down. It opened it by accident. And I'm going to add it right in here inside my users folder so that it'll show up there. And I can come and do things with permissions and all of that if I want to. The other thing I could do with this is I can run scripts. So if I've got scripts that I want to run, I can set up scripts here. And you can see additional resources. If I just hit the plus there, I can put in additional files and things like that that I want to put. And then I can also comment on this as well. Uh, but once I've got this set up the way I want it, uh, I would just come up here to build and say, uh, just have build right here. And it's going to say, you know, do you want me to save uh, the changes you've made before you do that? Yeah, I'll save it. And so now it's going to build the package for me. And it says the package build has succeeded. And you can see what it's done there in terms of creating it. So my build is all done here. And you can go through and do a number of builds here with this package's application. Like I said, I'm just scratching the surface of it, but it uh, is pretty powerful depending on how you want to set up your different builds. Again, this would be if you wanted to have everything inside that net install image and you didn't want to use something like Profile Manager or whatever to set this up. Okay, so we got that all set and ready to go now. And if we were to just come into the Finder here for a minute, and if we went uh, over to uh, this area here, we went into the Server Files folder here, the Install Desktop Pictures, the Build, you see there's my package file. And so I'm just going to actually um, move this package file and copy it to the desktop so we have that available so that we can use it. Now, another application uh, that I stumbled on that will help with setting up uh, a package for user accounts is one here, and I'll just show you from the Mac App Store. Uh, it's called uh, Create User Package, and what this does is this allows you to create, um, it, it generates uh, for your deployment workflow a local user account. So you could set up a local user account ahead of time if you wanted to do that, and maybe you wanted to set up, let's say, a local user account for admin that's yours. Uh, that you don't want your users to have access to, but you want to have that available, let's say, on the machine so that you can manage it. Uh, that would be some a use for this. Or you could set up your user accounts as well. So what I'm going to do is let me just go ahead and put this down, and we're going to launch that application. And so here we are inside the application itself. Now what I would do is put in a full name and account name. So I'm just going to put in, let's say, uh, administrator. Or I could put in, um, let's just say, um, office. Uh, admin. Let's put that there. So then I got a short name of Office Admin. I can put in a password, so you can put in whatever you want. I'm just going to kind of make one up here. Let's tab through this. And so I've got a, got a password. You can put in a user uh, ID of whatever you want uh, or have it, you know, kind of randomly assigned like that. It's really up to you. It depends on what your users might have. You can go higher or lower. Uh, you can choose the account type, whether it's an administrator or shared. Uh, you can put where the home directory is going to be. It's going to be in my users folder. It's going to give it a UUID. And I can uh, set it up whether I want it to be an automatic login or not. Uh, I can even drop an image over here if I want to drop an image in, um, let's say, of myself or whatever. In fact, let's just go ahead and go into uh, pictures over here. Uh, let's say system folders, profile icons, and then let's just, uh, oh, I don't know, let's just take a picture of myself here and we'll just drop the image in there. And so there I've got an image of myself that's also on there. Let's go ahead and put this down. And so now I'm ready to go to create that package. And so I can uh, choose what the package ID is and where I want to put it. And so let me just change this out here so you can kind of see what that is. I'm going to put server here. And so I've changed the, the name now. And I'm just going to go ahead and save the package. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it to my uh, desktop right now. And we're going to go ahead and say save. And so it's going to create that package. And so now you can see I've got two packages here. Um, one for, I'm going to put that down, one for putting that uh, folder on the, on the Mac and one for creating uh, a user account. Again, just a couple of ways that you can start to create these packages.
So that's it on how to create custom packages. Again, there's a lot of other uh, pieces of software out there that would allow you to do this, including the uh, actual uh, imaging utility that's built into macOS Server. But I just wanted to show you a couple of different ways to set up these custom uh, packages. So next, in the next session, uh, in the next screencast, we will go ahead and take a look at how to now take those packages and put them together into a custom net restore image that you can put then into the net install service on macOS Server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.